Well, Yellowstone is our oldest national park in the country. It's really an icon of our natural heritage. My name is Louisa Wilcox, and I work for the Natural Resources Defense Council, primarily on grizzly bears. I'm Daniel Lashoff, the Science Director of NRDC's Climate Center. There is something about wildness that we need in our lives. Uh, there is something that is so tamed about American lifestyles these days. Uh, the asphalt and the malls and the development. Yellowstone is a place that people can go and still see wildlife as it was here 200 years ago. And the first thing kids ask when they get out of the station wagon is, where can I see a grizzly? And global warming is having big impacts here in Yellowstone. We conclude that global warming is actually the biggest threat that the parks have ever faced. Best climate models predict that the West will see about a five to six degree increase in temperature by mid-century, and along with that, uh, a decline in precipitation during the summertime. Grizzly bears are a barometer of the health of the whole. If grizzly bears are here on the landscape, two to 400 square miles per animal, that's the land size that it takes for a grizzly bear to make enough calories to make it through the winter, so they can sleep through the winter. So when grizzly bears are healthy, so is everything else. One of the biggest impacts that we're seeing in the West is the decline in winter snowpack. The winter snowpack is critical natural water storage in an area that is chronically short of water. There have been declines of 30 to 70 percent. Yellowstone Park is being transformed overnight. What you see from the air is a dying forest of red needle trees in the process of dying, forests in the process of dying, and with it go a number of species that depend on them. The grizzly bear is one of the animals very much dependent on the future of whitebark pine. Tiny whitebark pine seeds are the engine that drives the health of a population of four to 500 grizzly bears. Uh, they are eating the equivalent of 40 to 50 Big Macs a day. That's a lot of calories. And those calories are really important to keep females and male grizzly bears healthy through the winter, but it also boosts the success of female reproduction. Those seeds are gone. The cub production declines. And if those seeds are gone, grizzly bears drop down out of the high elevation white bark pine forests and into a landscape where there are more and more people, more and more development, more and more conflicts, more and more dead bears.